Hi there. Thank you for joining us for another episode. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel so that other people like you can learn from these videos. Where of employers who steal employees' stars and destinies for their company's growth. Are you still applying for jobs, Jody? I think that's enough for today. Oh, Mom, we cannot afford to miss another month worth of rent. I need to find a job urgently. Don't stress yourself too much, dear. Have you received any feedback from the interview you attended two weeks ago? Not yet. But I felt like the interview went very well. Okay, let me retire to bed. Good night, Jody. Good night, Mom. Oh, it's an email regarding my interview. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you God. I finally have an appointment letter for a job. It says here that I'm required to report to work next month. I seriously cannot wait to start. Wait until I tell mom the good news. Wow, this office is beautifully designed. I'm a bit nervous because I've been told that the CEO would like to see me first. I wonder why that's so because I'm not working directly under his command. Hello Jody. My name is Gwen, and I shall be your supervisor. I'm glad to meet you Gwen. But before showing you to your workstation, our CEO Mr. Frey would like to meet you. Good morning Mr. Frey. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too Miss Late. And please call me Mark from now on. Alright Mark. Please have a seat. I've reviewed your qualifications. Since you are new to this particular job, I have told Gwen who would have been your supervisor to let me mentor you for your three-month probation period. So you will instead, be reporting directly to me. Alright, well understood sir. Thank you. Oh my. Mark has sent me another project to finalize by Monday. I'm so tired. I think I will have to work late so that I can beat the deadline. Oh, I didn't expect to see you here this late Mr. Frey. Call me Mark. I can see you are still working on the project I sent you this afternoon. Yes, I'm still working on it. You know Jody, I have to admit that you look prettier in the evening. Forget about the project first. After all, it's Friday night. Let's go for a drive. But where would you like us to go, Mark? <laughs> you ask too many questions. I'll show you what I have in mind. This is... This is a motel, Mark. Why are we here? Oh, come on, Jody. You are a big girl. I think you know what we are doing here. We are about to enjoy ourselves. But... But this is wrong. You are married and... And you are single. Trust me, you are going to enjoy yourself. Since I joined this company, I've noticed some strange things happening to me. I wonder why I cannot seem to save any money that I get from my salary, despite me having a decent earning. Plus, I still get an allowance and numerous gifts from Mark. But for some reason, I cannot seem to save anything. Oh well, maybe I'm thinking too much into it. Maybe my spending habits have become extravagant over the past few months. But I have to admit, it's weird. It's good to see you my brother. My brother in the brotherhood. Let's sit down for a drink. So, I can see that you've found yourself quite a catch. I see her quite often with you at our motel. She's more of a catch-22, if you know what I mean. And why do you say that? I could tell from the moment I met her that she has a bright star. And I knew that I had to steal that from her, by sleeping with her, 
so that I can use her destiny for myself. Now I know it's very hard for her to leave me, let alone leave my company. And she has to depend on me solely for funds. But her mother is very prayerful. She's messing up my plans. How about her? What's her name again? She's Jody. So is Jody prayerful? No. She's such a featherweight Christian. And have you tried diverting her menstrual cycle? You know that that is a strong blood covenant, so that we can fully initiate her. All I've managed to do is make her cycle regular. And yes, I have diverted her financial capacity. Unbeknownst to her, I have sacrificed her womb, so that my company can grow, just like I did to the others. Of course you know by now that the women who work for me do not get pregnant, but only when I want them to, so that they don't suspect anything. Yes, I know that Mark. I think I have a plan. Why don't you let me have a piece of her too? I will be able to make her hate anything to do with prayers. No. She's mine. And I don't particularly feel like sharing Tyson. Isn't there another way out? I'm making your work easier, Mark. It will only be once. Then she'll never see me again. Yes, Mr. Frey. You asked to see me. Yes, have a seat as you say hello to my business partner, Mr. Grayland. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Nice meeting you too, Jody. Mr. Frey has told me good things about you. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, Mark, let me leave. We'll talk later. Mr. Grayland will come back in the evening. I want you to do exactly as he will say to you. Is this understood? Yes. It's understood. Now leave my office. Relax, Jody. We are going to have some fun tonight. No, this is not what I signed up for. Now let me leave. Are you sure you want to do that? I don't know, but... I suddenly feel like staying. Good. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Who are you, and what are you doing on my desk? Hi, I'm Layla. I've been told to sit here, because this is my workstation. Oh how dare you. Get out, now. Come in. Mark, there's some woman seated on my desk, and she's taken over my workstation. Who do you think you are speaking to, young lady? Let me remind you very quickly that I am your boss, and you will treat me with respect. Or else, get out. I'm sorry, but is this how you've decided to treat me, Mark, after all I've done for you? Stop crying in my office. The lady who's seating on your workstation is your replacement. I want you to train her before you leave. But I'm pregnant for you, Mark. Are you pregnant for me, or are you pregnant for somebody else? Do you think I don't know that you've been sleeping around Jody? I will tell your wife about our affair. I promise you that for free. And I will further sue your company. Please go ahead, Jody. Do whatever you want. But I guarantee you that you will come back to work for me, whether you like it or not. You will beg me for employment. Anyway, I've already arranged for the HR to give you your termination benefits. Now leave my office. Jody is fired unceremoniously, then she soon finds out that she's not pregnant. In fact, she will not see her menstrual cycle for the next six months, because it has already been diverted spiritually. Don't lose hope, Jody. Everything will work out. It's been almost six months since I lost my job. I have been applying for other opportunities, but nothing's come by. We are almost being kicked out of this house. I think Mr. Frey was right. I feel like going to his company and begging him for my job back. I feel like what you are going through is not normal. It's just a strong feeling that I have. Why don't you go to see our pastor regarding this situation?
I'm sorry that you went through all this Jody, but it looks like you were working for an employer who is using marine powers. What do you mean pastor? There are companies out there which use dark powers to advance their growth and expansion. So you will find the CEO is the one who will sleep around with his employees to steal their destinies in order to secure his company's progress. The ladies in such companies only get pregnant when this person wants them to. Furthermore, you will notice that you cannot save a single penny from your salary while working there, and it is very hard to secure another job opportunity even after you have left the company. Basically, they render the employees as though they have been enslaved. Wow pastor! I've never heard of this. So does this mean that I will never get another job? No, you will get another job. But we need to get your diverted destiny back. That's how your life will stop being stagnated. I will pray for you right now, and I will call you over the phone so that we pray in agreement when you are at home. I will also give you prayer points which you need to pray at midnight. I encourage you to go on a fast as you do so. All right, Pastor. Thanks for your explanation and the prayer points. Don't worry, we shall get through this. O oh Jehovah, I thank you King of Kings and Lord of Lords in Jesus' name. I repent of all my sins, any perversion sins, and sins of fornication. Cleanse me, O oh Lord, of any sins that may nullify my prayer to you by the blood of Jesus. I recover my destiny from anyone profiting from it and I command any destiny diverters to release my destiny back to me in Jesus' name. I separate myself from any evil covenant, kidding my destiny in Jesus' name. Deliver me, O oh Jehovah, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous man, according to Psalm 71, 4 in Jesus' name. I cancel every evil transaction done over my star and destiny and I command every power using and controlling my destiny to be arrested in Jesus' name. I renounce any gift or evil funds that I have received in exchange for my destiny and I recover all my stolen virtues through evil donation, intimate encounters or food in Jesus' name. I thank you Jehovah, because you have helped me recover my destiny, and I declare that my financial prosperity together with my fertility is restored in Jesus' name, Amen. Are you okay brother? I seriously feel sick. But it doesn't feel like your normal kind of sickness. I really feel bad doctor. What's wrong with me? We've run all tests on you. Your vitals are normal, and there seems to be nothing wrong with you. But I'm clearly sick doctor. My guides have told me that you are sick, because you are still holding on to Jody's destiny. We both know that this is a spiritual illness. You need to let go of her destiny, if you are going to survive this mark. No, I'm not letting go of her destiny. That destiny will get me to the next level. I'm oh no. Is it true what I've heard Gwen? What have you heard? What are you talking about Layla? That our boss, Mr. Frey died this afternoon in hospital. What? No, it can't be true. There are organizations that are run by marine powers. Such companies are run by agents of darkness, whose main assignment is to steal, kill and destroy destinies of their employees, so that they can profit from their stars and destinies. Such employees find that nothing works in their lives, and can stay in that same company for years with nothing to show for it. You as a Christian needs to be vigilant in prayer, 
especially if you find yourself in such a situation.